Getting into the settings of the Nexus DR software is also very simple. Simply click on the gear icon and you'll be able to enter into the settings. And you're presented with a, a nice menu to the left, very simple to navigate. Uh, one of the more common functions that you might want to look at would be the DICOM. And this is where we would add in a, um, a PAX or other viewers, places, uh, DICOM destinations to send to. So you would simply click on Add. And then you'd see here it's asking for the information for the server. You'd put in the server's name, host IP address, port number, AE title, all the rest of that information, and then ping it and be sure you've got good connection. And then you could have the, uh, the images be sent automatically from the acquisition station to a PAX for, uh, for viewing on other areas. The same holds true for modality worklist. If you had a modality worklist that you wanted to interface with, we'd click on the worklist tab. And again, just click Add. And those same protocols would be requested here. You'd put in the server name, host IP address port, and AE title. Ping it and be sure you've got good connection. And you'd be connecting your uh, modality work list to the Nexus DR program. And then that would pre-fill the work list pane when you open up the software each time. The same would be done this way for procedure code mapping. You would simply click Add. Enter in the, uh, the information requested. And the same would hold true for adding a DICOM printer. Very simple to access, very simple to set up. Uh, the software has a very iOS look and feel to it and a uh, very intuitive uh, workflow that makes it very simple and easy to navigate even for, uh, for, for people who've only been using it a short while. Uh, you can import images into the directory. You can just browse to the, to the to the directory destination that's holding the images you want to bring in, uh, select them, select the range, and import them into the database as well. You've also got the ability to back up and restore uh, the database that's being held at the acquisition station in the event that a PAX is not present. So if you wanted to export all the image data from the Nexus workstation to, say, an external hard drive, you could just uh, browse the directory to find that external hard drive and then select it and then add all the, uh, put the image path in and then hit backup and it would put all your images onto that external hard drive for, uh, for redundancy and safekeeping.